YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, welcome. Today we're gonna to be talking about, you guessed it, the Gigabyte TRX40. Your motherboard, the heart and soul of your either hybrid setup, streaming hybrid audio, professional audio setup, or even if you're a musical producer and you're running lots of tracks at the same time, your motherboard is holding your professional CPU, holding your RAM, we'll get into all of that. Very, very important. My name is Jimmy. You can check me out. I know what I'm doing. I've learned it all from scratch. I've been through all the sales reps, all that good stuff, and I figured it out. Check out my channel. I, I live DJ, so you can see I actually know how to make the music. So you're learning from somebody who really has been through it, and I think I have some really great content out there that you guys will enjoy. And my goal is for you to learn enough so that when you make your next purchase, you're just really focusing on creativity. Okay, so here's the thing with the Design Air. As you can see over here, there is a long list of pros. So let's go through how it'll affect your audio and why, and why you have to get this. If, if you, this is in your budget and you're doing live audio, the new Threadripper 3260X, this whole new series is so powerful. It's got a, a really fast bass clock speed. Outclocks Intel, has 24 cores, which is a great spot to be in um, when you're using Ableton, Tractor, um, all the audio interfaces, recording, all of that, more cores. When it comes to RAM, right, you want to be able to run super fast RAM, super fast Pentium chip. You want to, at ease, run your video card. All of this goes through your motherboard, right? Another beautiful thing I love about this particular motherboard is it has an excessive amount of PCIe 4.0 slots, which is multiple times faster than PCI 3. It allows you to use things like the super ultra fast uh, Rocket 4.0 SSDs, which is lightning fast. So that's number one. All right, number two. Let me go ahead and show you why I love this motherboard. It comes with some really cool stuff. So if you want all that power we just spoke about and so much more, this is the motherboard you have to get. Here she is. All right, let's have a closer look at this motherboard. So right here you're gonna notice this awesome VRM, black top resistors, and it's actually the same VRM used on the Liquid Nitrogen Extreme Edition of the Gigabyte series. Now on this one, the Design Air, being that it's such an awesome VRM, it's gonna keep things cool, give the precision voltages to your CPU needed for that audio rendering, and taking full advantage of the reduced thermals for your precision boost automatic overclocking capabilities that comes with the Threadripper series. You're gonna see all this advanced connectivity, reset button, clock, uh, looking thing that helps you figure out and troubleshoot. All right, you're gonna see black top resistors, which is awesome, definitely well made. You're gonna go ahead and see your USB 3.2 port, type C. All right, awesome, definitely needed an audio, as many ports as possible. A array of SATA for backup. Over here, the most important of them all, the Thunderbolt 3 connection only offered on the Gigabyte boards. The Design Air is my, definitely my top choice for that. You got your extra power to your PCI slots. And then furthermore, as we take this side, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna see all of the extra connections for extra 3.2 USBs. You're talking 5, 10, 15, or 5, 10, and 20 gigs per second extensions that you can add on to the existing I.O. that already comes with the board. You're gonna have plenty of fan headers, extended audio headers. You have your RAM slots. Let's see if we can get you guys a good focus on your RAM slots. All right. You got all the excellent resistors, CPU socket, extra RAM slots. All right, so going, going down this way now, 
you're gonna go ahead and see the PCIe slots. So that's your X16, your X8, your X16, and your X8. There's also an X1 in there. All right, and with that being said, you're gonna be able to connect a lot because these are PCIe 4 slots, Gen 4. You have a fan in there as well to help keep the M.2 and help keep the motherboard cool back to that precision boost and the thermals, the importance of that. All right, so let me show you what else is in the box. This is why I also believe that this is one of the best values. Now, also keep in mind, not all of the Threadripper series motherboards can handle Thunderbolt 3. You have to have a TB header. This is in Windows. You have to have a TB header in your motherboard, which this one has one. So check this out. This amazing motherboard, the TRX40, runs the amazing CPU, runs the Thunderbolt 3 using an adding card, a GC Titan Ridge, okay? This goes in your PCIe 4 slot, giving you true Thunderbolt 3. It comes with an adding card. This card right here allows you to put four of these super fast PCIe, fastest SSD on the market. You can put four of them together and it uses all four read and write speeds together, giving a tremendous amount of, of read and write speeds to your hard drive. Then this motherboard also allows you to use the 3960X, which is the new Thunderbolt series here in 2020 by Ryzen Threadripper, plug that in. Now you have 24 cores, base clock speed 4.5, super awesome. All right, so I wanted to also talk about RAM. So here's the thing, normal Intel motherboards that are consumer based, not like server, which is super slow, only have four RAM slots. You'll notice here, this has eight RAM slots. Awesome, totally awesome. More RAM, the better. I personally am starting with 128 gigs of RAM, so I think that that's awesome. Um, it's definitely a, a good start and super fast. But yeah, um, another thing is, you know, look up that connectivity. You're getting two Gen 2, uh, you know, USB-C ports. You're getting so many US, USB ports in general, Gen 2. You're getting... Um, and you guys can go ahead and just see that see that up close and really get a bird's eye view. Look at all of that connectivity. Look at those flash bios. I mean, you could technically overclock with this if you really wanted, but I would recommend an audio, you know, if you're gonna overclock, let's get something separate that specializes in just that. So many ways to plug in so many different things. You know, if you're into uh, neons and especially to cooling, you know, with that awesome, you know, heat sink, it's going to keep it nice and cool. This system will outperform when cooled. And because this brand, Gigabyte, is actually known, Gigabyte is actually known for its overclock performance, you're going to get absolutely maximum performance at ease with just some half decent cooling, which we're gonna get into later with these brand new heat sinks that have come out that are phenomenal, in most cases beating water cooled, unless it's done custom, which we'll also get into, and wait till you see the case for this thing. It's, we're taking it to the next level, water cooled the whole, you know, we're going all out. Um, one other thing I wanna mention, Gigabyte, great company. It's, since this system is already an overclock sort of automatically, Gigabyte is well known for its overclocking capabilities. So when they build a motherboard, they build it for performance. So yeah, either way, I hope that uh, you, know, you guys learned something. And I did want to mention, so you understand my channel a little bit better, we are not sponsored. Everything I do is learned from scratch. I figured it out. I'm here to tell you, don't get sold by a sales rep. I noticed I went online just to kind of price a pre-build of this. Not only was it like $3,000 more expensive than actually building it yourself, but they don't even carry this type of super high-end motherboard in a pre-build. So, 
you know, if you are going to buy a pre-build, at least with this channel, you'll know what to ask for. So you'll be totally ready to make the absolute best professional audio you can. So we're gonna be building this computer together. Please check out some of our other videos. We're gonna check out the build, um, you know, check out our audio, learn our audio. We'll show you how it's done. We'll take things to the next level together. So uh, anyways, I like to kind of keep them a little bit short, get right on to the next one, just give you my recommendation. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming. Join the community, subscribe, you know, ask questions. Um, I, I just want to, you know, let you focus on your creativity and, uh, you know, take what I've learned. Let's take audio to the next, you know, stage in, in its creativity. All right. Have a good one. I'll see you in the next one.